welcome. Golden Empress Collection here. Pisces, this message is for you. It's your May reading. Glad you guys are here with me. I hope it finds you well. I truly, truly do. Don't forget, Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. Uh, that's where we go live. There's been quite a bit going on in May. <laughs> your reading came out after the eclipse and the full moon. Uh, Mercury is going to be going direct here about the 14th or so. So let's see what's out there in the ethers for you in regards to love, Pisces. In regards to love, Pisces. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, so new opportunities, new chances, but, but you're being blocked. Maybe she says no is what I'm hearing. Pisces, if you're a male, if you're trying to talk to someone new, they might not be interested. It's kind of what I'm picking up on here. Um, some of you guys, I, I feel like if you're more of a feminine energy, you are so tired of people not pursuing you correctly. Um, I think that there's an idea that you have of the way that you would like to be pursued. And that's if you, you know, because you, you value yourself in a particular type of way. And you're finding it hard to understand why people don't value you in the same way. It's like, are we not born on the same planet? I mean, come on now. That's what I feel. Okay. So let's see what else is going on in regards to love for you guys. You could definitely have a fire sign energy around you, Pisces. Or this is children. Something about a, an act of sex here, tower moment. Yeah, it's kind of a phallic type of energy and offer in some sort of way. But it's, it's kind of irritating me because it comes with this page of wands vibration. Um, what that could say is that you have someone who, I don't know. I'm not sure how they really handle this situation. It's kind of more like a game. I do see that when I see the page of wands and the knight of wands together, it's like just going back and forth. Pisces, here you are right here. There's a pregnancy. Yeah, there's a pregnancy that comes of this or whatever this is. There's also clarity in the situation. Oh, I, I feel like secrets are coming out. I really do. I feel like there's someone needs to understand why a specific path went the way that it did. I also see now that someone's getting to ready to make one of the, a very big decision. Like, and it's, it's weighing on their heart for real with this fire energy. Um, Pisces, it might be you and you're not really sure about what choice you want to make, but you're going to have to make some sort of announcement here very, very soon. Okay. Um, I do know that you are wondering about some sort of intuitive phase in some way, like there's intuition here. Somebody, uh, this pregnancy is interesting to me. It's a secret pregnancy, maybe. For some of you, somebody tries to keep a, a pregnancy secret here, you know, but mm -mm. I, and I think because if you're young, you, your mama, it pretty much sees it. You know what I mean? Um, there's also, I just see, I keep seeing a new pregnancy here with this fool card. Now let's kind of pull out of the pregnancy because that's not all of you, you know, Pisces. What I see here is a motherly nurturing aspect. There's something that's not there. Okay. And somebody's realizing this, you know, about whatever this is. You could be realizing it about a woman. You could be realizing it about you know, whoever, someone just lacks the ability to nurture properly. And I don't know if somebody just is talking reckless with this full card page of swords, but it's not healthy. It's not healthy. That's what I feel. And I feel like this king of swords over here in the corner could possibly be some sort of counseling. Okay. I'm not a doctor. But I do see that there's a psychological aspect here where someone is seriously trying to, I don't know, with this right here, it's not tell the truth. All right. Intuitively, you know 
that someone is carrying, what are they carrying? It's a burden of some sort. What are they carrying? Money? Financial burden? Someone's carrying a financial burden here? Choosing and regretting trying. Oh, someone's throwing it in someone's face. I see it. If you love me, you'll do this is what I see. Right. And it's it's almost like a competition. Somebody feels like, you know, they're being made to um, have to choose. OK, this could be someone who is married, but also has a mistress here. Maybe while the wife is pregnant, this person is out and about with mistresses. I don't think they're going to tell the truth on this one, though. Yeah, they're not. They're not. See, and it's it's basically what it is, is someone's going to get exposed. OK, I think that this particular person probably didn't plan on keeping someone around if they stepped outside of the marriage here. Yeah, they really didn't. They're probably trying to cut this other person off, but this other person won't let them cut it off. Oh, you guys probably should go back and watch the Friday Night Love Tarot. Um, that was, you know, pretty recent right around this time. I'll have to go and see if I can find the name of it because the, I want to say I picked up on the vibration of um, fatal attraction. So that's, you know, definitely, yes, definitely in that energy. And the title was What's Up With Your Energy? And it was live with a heart. So if you guys, you know, whenever you find this, of course, it's timeless. Yeah, if that's a vibration, fatal attraction, go back and watch that reading. Because um, it was kind of freaky. It really was how twisted somebody's mind was about the deception, about the lies, about the the harshness, you know, that was really going on. And that two of swords, I mean, somebody was straight feels stupid, right? And when they find out about a baby or they find out about something that happened here or the truth comes out about that, they're going to be like, wow. You know, and I also, here's another thing, like, it's not even like, it is, okay? It's, I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, maybe your person says that a lot. This is a fact, okay? Somebody knew, someone knew, like, you're using your intuition and knowing that something's up. Yeah. I think they're kind of giving you a lesson here, Pisces, and telling you not to be immature and trying to block somebody's new happiness. Okay? The the immaturity, it's it's not accepted very well, whatever this is, Pisces. It's just not. Yeah. World card. And the world card at the bottom of the deck. This is fixed energy especially with this queen of wands right here. So and possibly even an Aries, somebody could have made an offer to a queen of wands, but they knew that it was possibly just games. It was playing. Yeah. Planning on keeping somebody a side piece married. And now they're all stressed out because this secret has been revealed. This lover's card is all about communication. Okay. Somebody wants this person to commit. Now somebody wants marriage from someone now. Okay. Pisces. Somebody wants this commitment, but the thing is, is that they only chose this person uh, because they, it was a sexual opportunity. You know, they felt like this person was someone that they could deal with that wouldn't come back. Oh, yeah. Now this person wants marriage or there's someone finding out the truth that. Yeah. And I feel like it's the side piece or someone that was treated as the side piece, piece Pisces. They're finding out that. um this person already has a relationship. Very upset too. Very upset is what I'm picking up with that two of swords. You know, maybe someone's now been blocked. Again, I tell you, because someone realizes that someone is married here. And they're choosing their family. They're choosing it to work it out with their family. You know, even if they hadn't been with their family for a while, they put enough effort into where this other person thought that they were like in a straight relationship. While they were married, I'm telling you, Ten of Cups. They're saying, no, 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 I choose my marriage. I choose my marriage. That's what I hear. Yeah. Somebody got blocked, too. Seriously got blocked. And But here's, you know what? This is what I'm thinking to myself, Pisces. Pisces, if they never took you around family, 
then you should already know. You know, I mean, they might have let you meet the kids, but if you haven't met the sister, if you haven't met the brother, you know, I'm talking about like siblings of this person that you're dating, then you should have already known. Especially if they have a lot of siblings too, and they're always constantly traveling and you all have been together for a while. Somebody was settling for less here. Okay, definitely settling for less. Like, mm -mm. yeah, yep, see, settling for a player, right? World card at the bottom of the deck. I'm not, I'm not going to keep showing it because what happens, and I'm finding out that certain cards within the tarot are causing, you know, issues, <laughs> right? Um, so anyway, Ten of Cups. They, you want to be happy. And if you want to be happy, then go for what you know. I know that there's someone here that was possibly trying to harm you, though, Pisces. Yeah, Page of Swords again. Something about deflecting the truth or the truth needing to come out. Seven of Pentacles. And it's only a matter of time before this truth comes out. Someone is not worried about whatever the past was. Mm. They're not. They feel like their person trusts them and understands why they chose to do what they did. They Somebody's going to kiss and make up here. And whoever doesn't get to kiss and make up is going to be kind of bitter is what it feels like. And it's like this particular person Oh, somebody look, what, I'm going to get, I'm having a hard time. I'm tongue twisted because of the fact that I'm telling this Empress energy came out the bottom of the deck again. Um, I'm a little tongue tied here because I feel like it's an energetic vibration of when your ancestral guides, especially your divine feminine side communicates with you that you should be taking care of family and not you know, admonishing them, not ignoring them. You're supposed to work things out, right? There's going to be drama. There's going to be something that happens. All right. Especially if there's like an Aries energy or a divine feminine that you were kind of leaving out in the cold and, you know, you were considering this person an option while you were married. There's an issue there. There is definitely an issue there and it's not going to end up well because it's an attack. It ends up well, I think, Pisces, because you and your person work it out, but this other woman is scorned. Yes, five of baskets and pissed, okay? Very upset and wanting to cause some sort of harm, very disappointed. See what I mean? Because they got ghosted. Yes, 10 of wands, dim bones, and eight of swords, I'm telling you. And this right here, there's going to be some sort of communication, like psychotic communication, I told you, that's going to come in about how this person wants to keep trying to come back around and keep them stuck. It's going to be up to you, Pisces. Is If this is your person saying to you that your person is still trying to come back around them and act like a player, you, you might want to believe this person, okay? And if you choose to end it, that's because spirit is trying to lead you in the right direction. Now, here's the other thing. You know, it's like, I don't know. You could be having a conversation with somebody from your past as well. Somebody who has a bad opinion of you. Mm -hmm. Someone who has a bad opinion of you is what I'm hearing. And I think it's because they noticed something about a Sagittarian energy in the direction that they headed towards. Some of you guys, there's another thing. You you could have an Aquarius, Libra, or a um, Aquarius, Libra. What's the other one? Gemini. Possibly a Gemini that is like really money hungry. And they're forcing you, like pushing, pushing, pushing to get you to do something for them. Yeah. And it's, it's something that you have, are having a hard time with. And so this person... Is pushing the issue with you. And I, I think I said that earlier. If you love me, you'll do this. Yeah. See what I mean? Emperor energy here. Emperor, what you going to do? Emperor's moving towards his divine feminine. The mother is what I'm hearing. 
Yes, a mother that gives, a mother that cares and is on her way to being successful. And I feel like if someone is trying to get someone else to attack another person, I don't think that's going to happen because what ends up happening is if there is some sort of an attack, then whatever it is that this person is working on will come through. It'll be like, it'll come through fruition. So Sagittarius right through here, and there's some sort of cycle where I, I see that a man would give his wife anything that she wanted. I do see that. But I also see that it will come at a price if they choose to do it in an awkward way. Yeah, see, four of knives. Yep, because I saw that death card too. Okay, so somebody is really deliberating and thinking about the plan of action here. And somebody already knows. There's a, I don't know. There's some sort of frequency that someone is sending towards someone and thinking to themselves that they've been successful. I hope it's as successful as bringing money in and having everything it is that you want and being, yeah, see, there's a 10 of cups again. See, there you go. Take care of yourself. The nine of pentacles. Listen, don't attack other people is what I'm hearing. Choosing to attack someone else is immature. And don't let someone who's younger convince you to do something that's gold diggerish. That's just what I heard. Like, don't allow someone to get you caught up in a way that could get you hemmed up, end up in court, end up in some sort of jail, because it's not going to go in your favor. I, I will say that, Pisces. Like, and especially if you're being pushed because of money. Yes, see what I'm saying? Seven of sticks. It's a fixed energy here. It could be a Capricorn. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Leo. It could also be a Taurus. Did I say Capricorn? I meant Scorpio. Yeah, with that death energy. I'm telling you, you will not be protected if you listen to what this other person is trying to manifest. Be very, very careful. Be very careful is what I just heard. Yeah, this person is stuck in their head. Some of you guys, again, whew, Spirit said, look, if you want to do things the right way, do things the right way and take care of family. Don't harm anyone. If you want to have, and here's another thing. Some of you, if you want to have an open marriage, you need your wife's permission first. All that other stuff is cheating. Okay. Okay. Vimeo extended link is going to be below because we're going to go into the rest of this. Friday Night Love Terror is your weekly. I think I mentioned that. Guardian Angel Messages is also over there too. I'll see you guys really, really soon. This is for you. Peace and elbow grease.